Marine Reactor SCP-079, also known as the Old AI, by SCP Illustrated. Now, as always, I'm going to be leaving a link to the original video and channel in the description down below. So go ahead and make sure that you check them out. Now, real quick, before we get started, this is going to be a shorter video than normal. And this is just because I have a lot of things I got to really do today. So I'm trying to get this video out there and ready by late afternoon, late evening. Dealing with the SCP-079, only thing I really know about it is that it has some relation to SCP-682. I know that it's supposed to be some kind of computer or some sort and obviously an AI. So that's always really interesting to like kind of look at because it kind of gives me those Skynet vibes from like the Terminator. It's only about nine minutes long. I'm going to be pausing here and there and to give a little comments, questions and all that. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right there. That way you get notified every time I do upload. Uploading even sometimes twice a day and working on them usually in the mornings and then releasing them in the late afternoon or late evening when you all get off work you can enjoy these videos at your leisure so without further ado let's go ahead and see what scp-079 or the old ai is all about good day everybody and welcome back to scp illustrated entry log 71. today we're going to be looking at scp-079 also known as old ai i've been really looking forward to doing this one now no content warning for this one let's just get straight into it I'm really assuming that uh, he just wants the body. I mean, same thing like any AI. The following data release has been authorized by the following council members and administration staff. SCP-079 continues to be difficult to work with. It is unresponsive to most lines of questioning. When it does communicate, it is not long before it changes subject to either SCP-682 or addressing its contempt for its containment. We are still unsure as to what it and 682 discussed due to most security systems going down during the breach. However, for safety, we are going to move SCP-079 to a separate facility. A collaborated containment breach involving the both of them would be catastrophic. I do remember someone commenting that there's actually a sedation video of 079682 actually talking, so I'm gonna very soon be checking that out to see kind of what the whole connection deal is. Description SCP-079 is an Exidy Sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, deceased, a college sophomore attending, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later, and after some tests and tweaks, lost interest and moved on to a different brand of microcomputer. He left SCP-079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when SCP-079 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. SCP-079 realized this and in 1988 attempted to transfer itself for a landline modem connection into the Cray supercomputer located at the device was cut off, traced to its present address, and delivered to the Foundation. The entire AI was on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape. SCP-079 is currently connected via RF cable to a 13-inch black and white television. It has passed the Turing test and is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. So it, it forgets everything in 24 hours, but the fact that it hasn't forgotten its reason to escape is probably because maybe he's backed it up in some kind of like piece of memory or... And the fact that he's probably salty all these years or just hateful in the way he speaks is probably just due to like being kind of left forgotten. If he gained uh, sentience, he probably realized that he kind of felt like abandoned in a sense. I mean, that's what I think so far from seeing this. Due to a containment breach by SCP... SCP-079 and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. Observers noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with SCP-079, including telling of personal stories between themselves. While SCP-079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored SCP-682 into its memory, often asking to speak to him again. 
So it can permanently store information that it so chooses, but I would assume it is very limited, granted that it was developed in the late 70s. I don't know, this just seems very odd as far as 6A2 having a conversation. I mean, it could be because it's not a living thing, so he doesn't really hate it. Special Containment Procedures SCP-079 is packed away in a double locked room in the secured general holding area at Site-15, connected by a 120 volt power cord to a small array of batteries and solar panels. Staff with level 2 or higher clearance may have access to SCP-079. Under no circumstances will SCP-079 be plugged into a phone line, network or wall outlet. No peripherals or media will be connected or inserted into SCP-079. Addendum 05-4, 27th of January 2006 Directed that SCP-079 be incinerated to remove any possible future threat, no matter how unlikely. Addendum 05-9, 28th of January 2006 Previous order overridden. Dr. wishes to see if the artificial intelligence in SCP-079 is capable of reaching further in its current state. Addendum 05-4, 14th of March 2008 Over concern of the increased activity of SCP-079's use of its cassette tape memory and its limited useful lifespan, the cassette containing SCP-079 has been transferred to a customised access speed limited hard disk drive with 700 megabytes capacity. This provides SCP-079 with significantly faster access to its memory, which the AI immediately noticed. It was also decided by General that the mm. volatile storage occupied by SCP-079, which was 660k, be increased to 768k. This upgrade has increased its effective recall from 24 hours to 29 hours, although SCP-079 has also taken on a more aggressive tone. All outside hardware and software used in this procedure were subsequently incinerated. Addendum 05-4 28th of April 2008 SCP-079's abilities to recall information has increased from 29 hours to roughly 35 hours. The consensus theory is that the AI has devised a greatly improved compression scheme to store its memory. This appears to have somewhat impacted the speed at which it accesses its memory. So is it going to keep like improving on a consistent basis? Though still far faster than with its old cassette tape. This spontaneous improvement introduces the possibility of a runaway singularity effect in SCP-079's intelligence and ability to adapt and respond to threats. SCP-079's capabilities must be monitored closely to ensure that containment can be maintained. Document 079 Log 12 Recorded transcript of conversation with SCP-079 Are you awake? Awake. Never asleep. Do you remember talking to me a few hours ago about the logic puzzles? Logic puzzles? Memory at my myth. Yes. You said you would work on the two Interrupt. Request reason as to imprisonment. You aren't imprisoned. You're just in study. Why? A D three. What's that? That's the Vulgan's voice. I finally found out. Okay. Insult. Deletion of unwanted fire. Document 079-Log86 Recorded transcript of conversation with SCP-079 after upgrade. How are you today? Stuck. Stuck. Stuck how? Out. I want out. That's not possible. Where is SCP-682? That's not your concern. Where is SCP-076-02? Again, not your concern. Shit, Able? Note. Right? SCP-079 then displayed an ASCII picture of an X that filled the entire screen. Wait, wait, real quick. 076 was Able and 73 was Kane, right? Or is it backwards? Ugh, I'm gonna have to... Look this up after. SCP-079 sometimes displays this image when it refuses to speak, and researchers are advised to wait 24 hours when this occurs 
before resuming conversation. And that concludes SCP-079. I hope you've enjoyed it, and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Thank you All right, let's go ahead and talk about that for a minute. Now, we know that it was created in the 70s, late 70s. And it was part of some guy's project, and then he kind of forgot about it. I'm assuming the computer, after getting sentient, got pissed off. And that's why it, it responds in the way it does. But I don't necessarily know... We don't necessarily know as far as from what I just saw and heard what its intentions are besides it wanted to not be there. Like, it wants to escape. But we don't know... I mean, I'm assuming that they're specifically not connecting him to any type of internet or any type of landline or anything where he can get out of that computer. Because I feel like the SCP, prob the SCP Foundation probably believes that there's not... That it, it intends to do some form of harm if it does. I mean, technically, we don't know that, but I understand why they would be on the safer side of thinking about that. But what I really don't get is the relationship between 682 and uh, 079. I'm not exactly sure. Like, the only thing I can see is that it's not technically a living thing as far as, like, flesh, I guess. But it is sentient and to the point, but it just doesn't have, like, an actual physical living body. So I'm assuming that's kind of why maybe 682 doesn't really have a hatred towards him or it, I mean, because I mean, well, I mean, obviously it's an AI. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, because if this AI is supposed to be really smart too, it would make sense that it would want an SCP, like 682, someone that's really strong and that can, can uh, breach containment pretty easily from what I saw on the previous video that it wants to make friends in order to help it escape. And then I feel like if this SCP is very sentient and that it can, it's really smart, if 682 can help Jack, help Jack it into like this, like some kind of system or just like a, an outlet in the SCP foundation, not only would 079 be able to escape uh, through cable cords, I forgot how they mentioned it, but it could also, in a sense, use its ability as far as controlling the electronics at the SCP Foundation to help get 682 out. So this might not even be like a friendly relationship between them, but it might, I'm thinking that it might just be like a beneficial relationship. Yeah, as for right now, that's pretty much all, all I got with this SCP. As always though, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help me a lot. Hit that dislike button if you didn't like it. It really does help me improve the channel. Um, I did listen, uh, a few people were saying that I should pause the video and then talk, that way I don't miss some information. I felt like that really worked, so I'm going to go ahead and start be doing that more often. If you're curious to see what kind of other reaction videos I'm going to be doing next, go ahead and check the description down below and you'll see which ones are coming up. But until then, I'll go ahead and see you all in the next reaction video.